You want me to put that on my todger? Harry's wife, Kate, stopped her. We know Harry's wife was invited to the coronation. We know that Harry's wife turned down the coronation invitation. But there are now reports emerging that actually that Kate stopped her from attending. Was it the case that an invitation was issued and then afterwards the Princess of Wales said, no, don't let her attend? Or perhaps there wasn't an invitation issued in the first place and therefore what everybody else has believed to be the case beforehand was incorrect. Well, Lexi Cartwright, writing for news.com.au, explains, Kate Middleton blocked Harry's wife from attending coronation, royal biographer claims. The Princess of Wales reportedly prevented Harry's wife from attending the King's coronation next month, a prominent royal biographer has claimed. Now, prevented. That could have a number of interpretations, couldn't it? The most obvious one is, Catherine said, don't invite her, so that's not what, so she wasn't invited, and that prevented her attendance. Or, it might be the case that an invitation was issued, and then it was retracted. Less likely. But that would still be preventing her from attending. Perhaps it was the case that certain conditions were set with her attendance, whereby she was minded to attend, but when the conditions laid down by the Princess of Wales were conveyed to her, not necessarily knowing that they came from the Princess of Wales, it meant that in effect Harry's wife would not attend, and thus, although she was not stopped, she was prevented from doing so as a consequence of her own response to the conditions that are laid down. To my mind, that is a possibility. In Sensational Remarks... Former BBC journalist Tom Bauer claimed Princess Kate, who has been publicly exposed by her US sister-in-law multiple times in recent years, insisted Harry's wife would not be welcome at the celebration under any circumstances. Now, interjecting there, would it be the case that Catherine would speak in such terms? Remember, she's an empathic individual that operates with emotional empathy. This doesn't mean that she's a mug, doesn't mean that she's going to allow herself to be rolled over. No, of course not. Instead, what it means is that in certain circumstances, someone such as Catherine would say, enough is enough, I'm not tolerating this behaviour any longer. There's not a preemptive move, but rather it is a consequence of the way that the narcissist has repeatedly behaved. And remember, Catherine has been expertly advised as the best way to handle her. We saw this around what occurred at the Queen's funeral, most notably embodied in the Windsor walkabout. The article continues by stating that after months of speculation, Buckingham Palace announced that Prince Harry had accepted his invitation. Speaking on GB News, Bauer suggested that the former actress was actually eager to travel to the UK alongside her husband but the princess blocked it from happening. I agree that she would have been eager to travel because of the lure of what the coronation would provide to her vis-a-vis -vis the prime aims, but as I've explained in part passing in detail, it was a narcissism again which said, actually, better not go because there are too many threats to control all stacking up. Bauer stated, we must all be grateful that Kate, in the end, I think, prevented Harry's wife from coming and said she wouldn't have her there under any circumstances, Bauer said. And if she, Harry's wife, did come, she'd have to sit at the back. I don't think it was the case that necessarily Charles would listen to such an injunction from Catherine. It might be that she would say it after all. Why should she tolerate this individual? But the point is that ultimately she may well have said, if she is to come, then she must sit at the back, she mustn't be afforded this, she mustn't be afforded that. And that was what was conveyed to Harry and his wife, which alongside the threats to control that that posed and the other threats to control that I've described, caused Harry's wife not to want to accept. It may well, of course, be the case that this is entirely speculation on the part of Tom Bauer and Catherine had nothing to do with it. I do see 
that the most likely reason why Harry's wife hasn't attended is because her narcissism recognised that she would face hostility from the crowd, hostility from the press, and that many members of the royal family wouldn't want anything to do with her, and, to put it bluntly, it wasn't worth the effort. Although parts of her narcissism, although her narcissism would partly look at it and think, oh, there's much we can gain here, the downside was too great. And that's what caused her non-attendance. And it was nothing to do with what Catherine had to say. Of course, it's highly likely that Catherine wouldn't want her to attend because, as a consequence of the way that Harry's wife has behaved, Catherine, ordinarily someone that's warm and engaging, has ultimately decided she's somebody that causes trouble. She's been unpleasant to me. She's been unpleasant to members of my family. She makes it all about her. She, of course, is no mug when it ultimately comes to understanding what has been going on. Bauer added, I do think that for the royal family, Harry's presence is constitutionally important. If, God forbid, the Cambridges all died, we'd have King Harry on the throne after Charles, so he's got to be there. While the palace's statement didn't give a reason for Harry's wife's absence from festivities, the date of the coronation falls on Archie's fourth birthday. It's further understood Archie and Lilibet were deemed too young to be invited. Given Harry is no longer a working royal after stepping back from duties in early 2020 and moving to the United States, it's likely going to be a fly-in, fly-out trip for the Duke, who won't partake in the ceremony in an official capacity. Another thing that he's lost as a consequence of his ensnarement with his wife. Harry will also be absent from the Buckingham Palace balcony, where King Charles, Queen Camilla, Prince William, Princess Kate and their three children, Prince George, Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis, will cap off formalities by waving to the public. Something, of course, which Harry's wife's narcissism would have loved for the recognition, but ultimately wouldn't be able to cope with the fact that, of course, she was banned from attending on the balcony. The coronation will mark Harry's first time being seen publicly in the presence of his family since he released his explosive tell-all memoir, Wah, in January, yada yada, explaining what's contained within that. It goes on to state that Harry attended the UK recently as a part of the court battle, and it wasn't known whether he actually decided to spend any time with his father. But the fact is that there is the suggestion that it was Catherine that stopped Harry's wife from coming. I don't think that that's accurate. I don't doubt that Catherine doesn't want her there. I don't doubt that Catherine's pleased by her non-attendance. But I think that the reason why she didn't attend is, as I've consistently explained to her, that ultimately she's a coward and her narcissism has caused her to stay away in order to assert control from a position of withdrawal. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening.